Hey guys, this is Shadow Slayer back here with, uh, I'm going to be doing a My Hero Academia opening. Yeah, I, uh, I figured this would not be a bad, uh, bad card game since, uh, I just, uh, walk, finished watching the anime. So, uh, you know, I was, uh, like, you know, let's see if we can open a box and see if we can get lucky. Uh, as you've seen, I've been getting pretty, uh, pretty lucky in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, uh, let's see if we can... See if we can transfer that over to uh, to this. Now, unfortunately, in the last video when uh, we opened the ghost from the past, we did not get a ghost rare, but that was to be expected because it's uh, it's extremely hard to pull. So let's see how hard it is to pull a couple of the better cards from my hero. Now let's see if there's all right. Looks like there's a box topper here. That's pretty cool. I'm also thinking about doing, uh, I think I have the, it has a lot of like the old classic collection of uh, Digimon that's coming up here this month. Uh, I'm thinking about doing that as well. So definitely something the be, uh, be cool to do here on the channel. Uh, let's see. All right, so let's go beyond. I believe that's in every box of the, uh, of the box toppers. Now these are the quirk packs. Now I know you do get a couple of these. Um, I'm not sure what kind of quirks they have in here. Well, let's see. I do like the, the side rip. Let's see what we got here. Capture evildoers. Cool. Alright. Now let's see what we got in here. Now I don't know what the value of these cards are. Um, I tried to look them up, but I couldn't find anything uh, definitive on them. But I'm sure they're not worth a whole heck of a lot. Um, but they're just pretty cool. Pretty cool to have. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, I got woods. Okay. Sorry, the glare was a little, a little weird there for a minute. But, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I wonder if you can get him... If he was the only way you can get this. So let's see. That's 3 out of 5. This is 4 out of 5. Okay, so there's only 5 of the... Uh, oh, there's only 5 cards in these quirk packs. That's pretty cool, though. So let's we'll see. Maybe we'll get another box of this. Just see if we can get the rest of them. But uh, so far, pretty cool. I wonder if maybe something, something worth getting graded. Probably not. Only because it's probably pretty... I mean, there's only five of them, so they got to be pretty easy to pull. But, uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. Oop. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't a very, a very sturdy stand, so it's very easy for me to knock into it. All right, let's see here. Hardened Frenzy. Observant student, binding kick, keen observation, dark and one of my favorite characters, dark shadow talon, release, Hiraka, what's their plan, nervous habit, and shock treatment. So this looks like it's just a rare here. Um, I will not, you know, let's not sleeve the rares, but we'll sleeve, like, the extra rares and stuff like that. Uh, we'll just go to the right side here. I don't think you can map the My Hero Academia, but I'm not 100% sure. But we'll I guess we'll find out. This is pretty cool, uh, pretty cool TCG here. Don't know if I can ever get anyone to play it with me, but I think it's still pretty cool. I think uh, definitely something that a lot more. I think a lot more animes and stuff like that are going to be going to be doing something like this. Oh, Nomo. Okay, tape swing. I believe that is just a. Is, I think that's an ultra rare. Yep. So we'll just leave that guy up. The ultra rares, the secrets. We'll just leave those guys up. We'll just leave the rares right there. 
I do know you get one in every pack. But uh, let's see. Let's see what kind of other. Let's see what kind of other cards we can get in here. Now I don't know the ratio. It's probably something similar to, um, you know, Pokemon or. I don't think well, Yu-Gi-Oh has a little bit lower of a rate, but I assume that these are going to be. Uh, yeah, that's a rare. I assume that they're going to be. They're going to have some sort of ratio, probably, probably a couple ultras, probably one of the extra rares, and I'm pretty sure uh, the the two cards that are worth the most. Um, the, the full cowling and the, um, oh, I forget the one ability that Bakugo has. Um, I'm pretty sure those are the, they're pretty randomized. I don't think they're going to guarantee either one of them every box. Probably why they're so expensive. Oh, okay, cool. Detroit Smash. Alright, that's an ultra rare as well. Awesome. Actually, I think, for the most part, these cards are pretty, uh, they're pretty pricey. Uh, I don't know if it's just because it's the, the first of the TCG and not many people have bought them, or is it just, just the cards are good for play and, you know, a lot of them are useful. But, yeah, I've noticed a lot of the, uh, a lot of the cards are pretty, uh, pretty pricey. Especially when you get into the, the ultra rares and extra secret rares and stuff like that oh, okay cool so I think that's just a regular rare right there rising starlet it's pretty cool so I don't know if we're gonna get lucky and we're gonna hit uh, I would like to hit one of the character cards just for like Bakugo Or Midoriya, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah. Sorry, there's always a glare. <laughs> the overhead light that I have is pretty uh, pretty intense. Although we are getting a lot of the uh, a lot of the characters here. Ooh, Dark Shadow Ruin. Ooh, that's an extra rare. Cool. All right. I will take all the Dark Shadow cards I can get. So let's see, we have two Ultras, and that's one extra rare right there. We'll have to see how much that one that one's running. I don't know if that one's going to be extremely expensive or not. Like I said, in the... Uh, the extras extra secret rares there are going to be are going to be tough to pull but maybe the good luck will transfer over okay it looks like just a regular rare here looks like we're about halfway down that one side taking a little bit more time on these just because I'm not sure if a lot of people have seen this TCG and uh, I want you know I want everyone to know that's uh that's pretty cool <laughs> it's pretty funny he my sticky balls <laughs> uh, clever distraction yeah, I think they're uh, I'm not sure if the game premise is, uh, is exactly I'd have to read more up into it. I haven't really read much into it just because I don't know if I can get any of my friends into it. So I haven't really looked too much. Oh, look, an ultra rare. The frog lashing. It's pretty cool. So it looks like well, we got three ultras and one of the extra. So it looks like ultra is a little bit more common. I wonder if you only get one or two of the extra extra rares in this that's probably probably feasible all 
or so. Sticky ball toss tackle. Just a regular rare. Alright. That's still pretty cool though. That even if you just. Every pack just has like a regular. Even if it's a rare. It has a, it's like a holographic. Makes it uh, makes it fun opening the packs. I'm getting a new stand here. This is not very, uh, not very stable. Coordinated effort. Just regular rare. Summon Dark Shadow. Pretty cool. Alright. Looks like I got another Ultra Rare here. Staff Strike. It's pretty cool. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if we will see. It's actually, <laughs> if this is a ratio, we're pretty, uh, we're pretty loaded here on the front half of this. Obviously, you can't count these two here, but, I mean, that's four Ultras and one Extra and one, uh, one side there. It's pretty, uh, that's pretty stacked. wonder if that means that the left side is not going to have a whole lot. Or if there is really no ratio, I mean, you can just get a random amount of any certain card. Okay, just a regular rare. Okay, that finishes off that one side. So let's see what we can do with the second half here. Let's see if uh, let's see if there's anything crazy going on with this. So I'm not sure the ratios or anything like that. We'll go a little faster on the second half here. Because I'm sure a lot of these are going to repeat themselves. So we don't want to get too uh, too hung up on that. Regular rare. Well, I have to grab another box of this from my local. They, uh, they did have a few boxes. I'm surprised they did. Um, found out about it on TCG Player. And then I'm like, you know, let me, uh, let me go over there. Let me see what they got. And you know they have actually quite a bit of a quite a bit of a stock of uh, of just random TCGs that you would have never ever thought about. <laughs> so it's definitely uh, something cool to have. Oh look at that! Oh, it's a double. So you get an extra, and then you get a regular rare. Wonder if that's uh. Wonder if I missed a few of those that had the uh, that had the extra rares and stuff like that in there. I wonder if they had the uh, regular rare as well. Uh, huh. I'll have to go back and I'll have to double check later. But if you guys see anything, just uh, just let me know. It could be just the uh, the extra rare packs. They have the uh, a rare and the extra. Or it could be a manufacturing thing. Who knows? Excuse me. Okay, just a rare. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get anything cool here. 
Yeah, it looks like a lot of this is just uh, a lot of repeats there. Oh, that's pretty cool. An ultra rare. Evil Gaze. Actually, I think that has a little bit of value to it, believe it or not. You know, it's a little bit of a creepy card. <laughs> we'll see how that guy, uh, that guy plays out in the anime there. Nice. Okay. Blinding cloth assault. Cool. That's just a regular rare too. Huh. Get distracted by a regular rare, but hey, that's pretty cool. You know, I didn't think I was gonna like him as a teacher, and then uh, you know, it turns out it's actually not half bad. You just want to make sure the uh, the students there are pretty. Uh, you know what I mean? He sees the potential in me. He doesn't want them to fail. So I think that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Push them their hardest, because, you know, even in the real world, they'll get pushed hard. Ain't gonna do you well. Ain't gonna do you no good. Oh, I think I see something back there. Oh, yeah. Woo. Yeah. All right. I think this is just the SR version. So this is not the crazy version. But, hey, it's still it. It's still one of the cards. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I don't think this is the crazy version. I could be wrong. But I... Because I think it's XSR is that is that one. This one's just the SR. But hey, we got one of the chases I got. All right, full cowling, excellent, excellent. All right, so that means I think we only have a few packs left here. So I think we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be coming right down to it. And I don't think we're gonna get a whole lot left. Um, but that's pretty uh, that's pretty cool. I don't think the SR is guaranteed in every box. So, I'll have to double check that on TCG Player to see if that's the crazy one. Because, I mean, if that is the crazy one, that's like a four or $500 card. Um, actually, no, maybe more like two or three. But still, it's, it's, it's a decent amount of money right there. Um, so, if that truly is the one that we're looking for, that would be absolutely insanity uh, that we got it. I did spoil it a little bit. I did see something in the back there, and I was like, oh. Oh, and then we got a little something. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so we got a rare. And then we got another extra. Extra rare. Cool, so it looks like you get, what, three extra rares in a box. Get, what, six or seven ultras. And then maybe the one secret. I don't think... I don't know if that's guaranteed in every box. I don't think it is. It probably wouldn't be that pricey if it was guaranteed in every box. I assume it wouldn't be. Oh, we got All Might. Hold on now. That That is not even a rare or anything. But that's going over there. <laughs> okay, we got another Ultra Rare. Um, yeah. I wanted All Might. Although, if he was holographic, that would be even cooler. But, it's still All Might. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it over there. So I don't think you're guaranteed him in every box either. All the characters, you're not guaranteed every single character in the box. So All Might's pretty good. I think even as just the regular common right there, I think he's still pretty he's not he's not cheap, I don't believe. And if he is, he's not incredibly cheap. So it looks like we got a regular rare, we got an extra. So I wonder if if any card in the set could potentially be an extra rare or if it's just a certain amount. Alright, a last pack magic maybe. <laughs> Although I think we already did get our, our pack or box magic already. But hey, you never know. You never know. It could be uh could be something going on here. But yeah, this is definitely something I would like to uh like to open again. Alright, and just the regular rare, yep. So, 
yeah, it looks like that's uh, that's pretty much concludes that. But uh, let's uh, let's go over some of the hits real quick. So all might's my hit. <laughs> it's pretty uh, that's pretty crazy. So we'll go from we'll go from here. So sorry about that. So these are from the uh, the packs, the extra packs in the beginning. All right. So let's see. We got let's put the ultras and stuff over here. Hold on, quick. Let me put that box. So we got an ultra. We got the SR. So we got another ultra, 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 extra, ultra. Extra, extra, extra. Okay, so let's do it this way. Let's do the extras, ultras, and of course, the full count. That's pretty crazy. That's still, I think, even even if it's not the crazy one, it's still a uh, that's still a pretty pretty expensive card. Okay, so we got that. So we got the dark shadow, frozen, massive flash freeze. Let's fight the bad guys extras so we got the frigid heat wave Detroit smash frog lashing staff strike evil gaze and tape swing as our ultras so we got six ultras we got for the extras so that's 10 that's 11 I think I think that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty stacked box my buddy opened one of these, and I think he only got like six or seven hits. So I'd say that's a pretty stacked box. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully enjoy the rest of your day.